Our series. Why is it over? You mean the January 2013 Ballroom and Blues series? Yes. This is, this is the last class, class three? Oh, man. That's Sarah. So that's Ross. Hi. I guess we'll do this. Okay. Welcome to our last recap video of the last class of the Ballroom series, but no fear, there's more next month. Sure. So we started with recapping what we'd done last week with Mambo Steps, and then giving you a way to finally escape the Mambo Step. So the way we chose to escape the Mambo Steps was with, we're just going to start with that pattern we started in class. So stepping back to my right, I'm going to rock, step, back, rock, step, back, rock, Change step, forward, rushing. rock, step, turn, whee! So we're getting back in the close position from those steps. In close embrace. And, and when you get back into close embrace, so follows, you have to be very careful re-entering. And I recommend that you slide your elbow up the lead's arm to avoid hitting him in the face. Please. Uh, and then when you're reconnecting with your partner, leaves wait to actually get this connection before starting to move. You don't want to make the follow feel very rushed. I hope. Uh, even though we did this move to uh, pretty much two counts in class, you can wait to collect up, and once you feel secure, step whichever way you need to go. Okay, so at last we'll show you the whole pattern that we did. So, one, two, three, four, five, five. six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, one, two. So that was what we built over two classes. There's a lot packed into that. So if you had issues with any part of it, like we said at the end of class, um, this move is for you to take what you want from it. So we had connection aspects, especially here, um, stepping into this kind of rotating connection. Mm, yeah, so for the, a quick recap of last week, we had the shared pivot point and the turn. And then you release the follow, and you follow the follow's direction, and stop her here. Okay, you direct it, and then these mambo steps were led by the chest, the leads chest movement. Um, and next, we moved on to building rhythms in class. So we started with uh, kind of a, a four count repeated rhythm, went quick, quick, slow. So. We added that into our partner dancing first by just going linearly. So we went quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. We can also add in rotation when we do this one. So quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So you can break to the linearity, linearity, the linearness of the pattern and turn it into something different. Yeah, and you can also easily bring them into the mambo steps. Uh, so often we're doing a triple step on the mambos, but you could also do quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Our uh, second rhythmic pattern was slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Uh, same thing, we built linearly first. Slow. Quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. Well, we can, we can break it slow. Quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow. So, similar idea, and we talked briefly about how to extend those steps. So, I have more energy in my torso when I'm doing these. For these longer steps, I want to exaggerate the counter body motion. Um, that helps me keep my balance, it helps communicate to the follow. And we want to make the step for me to be a journey. It's about the journey, not about the destination. So it's slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. I never really stopped at any point during these steps. I'm always taking my time, moving through each of them, and dancing through each of them. Dancing through each of them. Mm -hmm. so, so again, the rhythm was slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. So one, two, three, count. Uh, we'll, we'll have the connection in the email. Cool. Yeah. All right.
you guys did an awesome job in the series. Thank you so much for coming. And we'll, today we'll see you next week. Jeff and Sarah will be teaching drag groups. So take what you learned in this class, move into the next class, and continue to do blues. Come out to Sylvia's on Wednesday nights, and I will show up. We'll see you on the dance floor.